everyone. This is Luca Mino. We're back with Frank Gregory Ford. This is Global News Update on TLB TV, courtesy of the Liberty Beacon Project. And this is where we give you complete backstage, up-to-date info as to the developments occurring in our world today. And I think I'm the one that's struck with the uh, the cough today, so I'm going to be letting Greg talk quite a bit. How's uh, how's California this morning, Greg? And we're getting more we're getting more. Uh, forest fires or you know fires that that are just disintegrating houses and businesses and and you know the 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 grass and the trees around are not getting touched either in, in the last fire in in california too i hear hey are you stereotyping california besides <laughs> earthquakes huh you know now you say we have out of control heat plasmas that incinerate whole cities you know are you saying that it's unbelievable. The, the pictures that I saw from the last fire, it's not Santa Rosa either. It's exactly the same thing. You have the foundation outline of the houses that are, everything's completely destroyed and the grass and the trees next to it are fine. You know, Santa Rosa now is just finally beginning to come back alive. Uh, you, you know, I, it was truly amazing. You know, the speed that that hit, it wiped out the city. I mean, it took out whole blocks of houses. Okay, yeah. and then skipped a block, and then took out some more blocks of houses. Okay, and businesses. Right. I've never seen so many businesses destroyed. I mean, leveled to the ground. Okay, I've never seen anything like that in my life. So, if this is something comparable this morning, by all means, I'm going to find out about it, and let's put the word out. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So, um, how about the snapshot this morning? Well. On Snapshot, I'm going to be sharing screens with you, Greg, and um, I've got something pretty alarming to, to share with everyone. I wanted to start out with this one, which is the basis of our show. I'm sure Greg will agree. I don't care if you beat me, insult me, lock me up, or kill me for speaking the truth. If I continue to exist within this current paradigm, knowing what I know, but refusing to speak out, I'm already a dead prisoner anyway. Mm -hmm. So Good. this is... This is where we're at. This is what we do. This is why I sleep at night. Quickly, before I start coughing, uh, okay. look at this. The country's invaded by the U.S. military since 1776. Of course, anybody who does their, their history somewhat, even on the surface level, can pretty well appreciate uh, what this picture shows. But it doesn't look, well, it looks like a map to most people, but nobody can really appreciate you know, like 30 million people killed since the end of World War II. Those are the figures coming out. So, I mean, the more we dig, the uglier it gets. And this is pretty well it. This is pretty well the picture that sums it up for me. Mm -hmm. It really is. Uh, I don't see Canada on there, but, you know, Canada's a, a, another one of those pups. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, I kill people that my government tells me to kill because I'm a pawn in a game that I don't understand, and it will end up with my own family being enslaved by those I take orders from. So, How true. You know, it's, it must, Greg, it must be hard for you to, to see stuff like that and to, to know that, you know, that this is what you did for, for 30 years or more, but you did it thinking <laughs> like everybody else did, that it was an honorable thing and that you were, you were helping your country. But, I mean, it must be must be horribly painful to, to see stuff like this now. And well, I, I've been fairly straightforward with our listeners, all right? And I continue every day, I'm more convinced that, you know, all the stuff that I did to stop our government from, from becoming a monster has been right and correct, okay? It is a monster. And with the invasion, the invasion of the U.S. Marine Corps, uh, into the uh, CIA headquarters, okay, I am convinced more now than ever, all right? It's coming out now that the CIA was running 400 separate drug production sites around the world alone, 400 sites, you know, and just designed to give it more money, okay, and control more of the world, and especially, you know, and if you think I'm wrong, mistaken all right look at the opium epidemic right okay yeah you know yes the cia you know needed to be invaded and and boy i wish i was there to evaluate the information that's coming out of there now all mm -hmm. right so whose ever idea that was 
Okay, you better keep it up because that serpent, you know, it's like they say with a rattlesnake, okay? You know, you have to wait till it goes down, you know, the sun goes down before you bury it and cut the head off. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, you better start right now, okay, folks? Because this, we are going to see a retaliation from the CIA like nothing you've ever seen, okay? As well, I, and I mean like uh, 9-11 type of retaliation, you know, nuclear devices, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's what's coming next, okay? Count on it. Well, now I confirm that. Greg, we, uh, we have news also from, um, from Israel uh, oh, that I, I really, really needed to share. with. with Oy with, vey, what's on, going on now? Unbelievable. Um, in October of this year, at an inter-parliamentary uh, union conference in Russia, Kuwaiti's chief lawmaker, his name is Marzouk al-Ghanim, he blasted the, Israel, uh, the Israeli delegation there, telling them to leave the room in an applauded outburst. And this is a quote that I have to read. He said, you occupier, you child murderers, get out of this room now if you have an atom of dignity. You have to pack your bags and get out of this room. This is another quote. What the lawmaker from this brutal occupation said represents the most dangerous type of terrorism, state terrorism, unquote. In front of representatives of 173 countries, he continues. He says, we're not talking about an entity that discriminates racially and religiously, but an entity that basically eliminates the other. <coughs> Palestine is the open wound. And as AJ Plus explains in that video, I wasn't given the permission to use it on the show. I don't know why, so I'm just showing by snapshots. Um, other delegates, uh, such as Jordan and Tunisia, they honed in on this attack and they continued with their own truths and they, they ran with the choir and on this grilling attack on Israel and the genocide of the Palestinians. So I think that is absolutely awesome. And you know the snowball effect, right? Nobody does anything, but as soon as one person starts the ball rolling, now everybody can, can chime in. And I really hope that that's what's going to happen. I really well my my response to that is, has anyone heard on mainstream media about this attack? No, you have not. The six mainstream media uh, companies, corporations, attacked Russia today. Remember what I said, uh, uh, what, last week? Mm -hmm. Forget watching the mainstream media. Pull up Russia today on your cable. You will be amazed at what is going on in the world that that you won't see at all on the the big six, especially that worthless, useless CNN, okay? You know, and, you, and the big, the acid test is, you know, at the, end of, end, at the end of watching something for five minutes, you ask yourself, what did I learn? Okay, let's face it, on CNN, you don't learn much, except they got a lot of pretty news announcers, okay? Right. That's about it, all right? And, and, and secondly, okay, uh, as I mentioned on my show, I don't know if you were able to get it out, but my goddaughter, of course, yes. was yes. murdered. It was broken right. up. It was broken up, and I was hoping we were going to talk about it again. Right. Yes, my, my goddaughter, two and a half years old, was murdered, okay, on film by a, uh, she was murdered by a pedophile ring, all right? And this ring has been connected to the very ring the very same ring that Hillary Clinton runs with the assistance of the Negro Ponte brothers. Did I say that loud enough, clear enough? By the Negro Ponte brothers. Okay. I want everybody to look up that name right now and find out who they are because your children are now in grave danger. All right. Negro Ponte, N E G R O P O N T E. All right. Everyone knows how to spell Clinton, all right? Remember what I said, you know, the, the four rings, okay? I know it's the four rings, okay? There might be another ring out there. I will find out. But, you know, with the death of my goddaughter, okay, on film, it was done on film. They have the guy in jail, all right? But it was done on film, and there is nothing more to say. Yes, pedophilia is... It's always been kind of a distant threat, kind of a scary thing, off in the distance, 
Well, guess what? It was brought home to me last week. All right. It was brought home to me last week. And with this situation, all right, I need everybody to be aware, our listeners, that yes, your children are in grave danger. Don't expect this beast to have any compassion. Forget it. It doesn't happen with your children. It's just part of the, what's the word, the initiation into you know, this beast. That's what you have to do is you have to damage the most sacred thing that we have, you know, you know, in our country, on our planet is our children. Those have to be uh, threatened in a bestial way, have sex with, forced sex with children that are two and a half years old, and then you have to watch them being murdered, okay? And then, of course, that's a money-making venture. It's always money, right? <clears throat> be aware, folks, Hillary Clinton's at the top of the ring. Notice how all this, you know, tough talk about how she has got to be indicted. Does it look like she's indicted? No, afraid not. And by the way, she does have the goods on Mr. Comey. Remember James Comey? All right. She does have the goods. Remember the, uh, the exhibit that I sent you, Luca, about you know, from the New York Times? Yeah. How I stated that industrialized torture was going on in our intelligence sites. And that information was brought to Director Mueller. Okay. You can look at me and see, gee, what was done? Absolutely nothing was done. They nope. just refined the secrecy on the process. Okay. No. Nope. All right. So what we have here is we have the CIA now, you know, partially wounded. It's not killed. It's not dead. All right. But we're going to see uh, this whole process exa ex exacerbated and it is going to be focused on you. Okay, I just told you that we have 400, 400 drug drug sites that are being uh, that are producing, okay, that are giving uh, the CIA unlimited funds. Okay, they have unlimited funds. You think I'm joking? All right, take a look. Okay, at the CIA's budget. Oh, black budget. We got to do this to fight them terrorists. We got to fight terrorists. Shit. They are not fighting anybody's terrorists, okay? They are a terrorist organization in themselves, all right? And, you know, don't believe me? Look at what the, the Marine Corps was found, the good old Marine Corps. I made, fun of, you know, I made fun of the grunts, you know, for all my life, and I've also been a part of the Marine Corps all my life, all right? But, hey, when the chips are down, guess who shows up? Guess who shows up to save you, America? It's the Marine Corps that kicks doors in of this own beast. You want foreign, you know, enemies, foreign and domestic? Well, it's funny how we always look, overlook the domestic part. That's what the agency has always counted on, okay? Are you looking the other way? No, the agency couldn't be involved in industrialized global torture rings, all right, which I've told you it is. And secondly, guess what, folks? They're take, they've taken your children now for years, and everybody kind of sits there, you know, oh, that's really terrible. Whoa, whoa. No, they wouldn't do that to us. They are. <clears throat> now we've got, we've got industrialized diseases sweeping the United States. Okay, we've got chemtrails. Everybody, oh, 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 oh. Oh, hey, it's about time. All right? Yeah. And now I heard, oh, the latest threat from the CIA right. is they're going private contractor. Private contractor, folks. Yeah, I saw how good that worked in Iraq. Oh, that was just wonderful. Okay, especially at Abu Ghraib. You know, hey, pay somebody. You know, even psychologists that are supposed to be helping were there getting big bucks. Yeah. We're talking several thousand dollars a day, folks of your money, of your money. And, and it works so well, okay, that uh, it, it is actually spread, global torture has spread, all right, to this point of 157 countries in the world. You know, I had to admit, when you showed me that map, Luca, okay, I, the first th thought that came to mind was, okay, that's what they're telling the public, all right? There's, right. You know, I recognize a lot of countries that they're not saying anything is going on in them, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, that beast is a beast, and it's not going down without a fight, okay? We invaded it last, in the last couple of weeks, we invaded the CIA. Oh, my goodness. I noticed nobody invited me to go along for the raid. You know, I would know where, there's, where they're spreading this monster. And surprise, guess what? My, you know, the, the fellow that gave me the briefing on the World Trade Center attack, 9-11, 14 months before, he right. came out and said Obama was implicit in a large portion of that attack and its hence cover-up, all right? Right. Okay, L Lieutenant Colonel Schaefer, okay, Anthony Schaefer. What it appears, folks, is that your own government, again, okay, again, has sold you out. What is about our own government is the most dangerous enemy we can face on a battlefield, all right? That's what I've recognized. That's what I've found. Okay. And yes, we have been getting bathed in gamma radiation. Okay. I don't know if you know what that means, but that means something like this. It means you've been sticking your head in a microwave. Okay. For probably the last two years, 24 months. Okay. That's what that means. And with this situation we, we have right now is that it is a made in heaven, okay, condition for massive overpaid medical healers, okay, quote, medical healers. They don't really heal anybody, but they make a whole lot of money and they make you kind of feel good like you got something, okay. I'm talking about the medical establishment, which I know a whole lot of. You, right. Everyone knows my, my, my CV, okay. So I don't need to go into it. You know, if you don't think radiation doesn't bother you, check your eyeballs out, check your 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 brains, your brain out, your kidneys, your liver, your heart, anything that is dependent on an electrical current, okay, a biochemical electrical function, all right, all of those uh, all of those depend on your electrical flows and your DNA functioning properly, and we find out that you've been living in a microwave, okay, brought to you by your own government, and, and they tell everybody, including the UN, about this danger, but do they support uh, the people in the United States footing the bill? Okay, never forget, that's what they do, is they make you foot the bill. Yeah, these folks think that the United States government is its own entity and can d demand anything they want, anytime they want, okay, and th and give your life up, threaten you, attack your cities, okay, remember 9-11 and the WTC, okay, well, sorry folks, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't happen, and it's time we get these doofuses out of there, okay, that are busy parasit parasitizing the American people, and we get some real people in there, okay? Right. So, there we go. Well, we have to right. kind of make it short today, but um, I just wanted to say something. I have to say this. I didn't have time to take a picture of it, Greg, but I'm sure you'll appreciate it. I'm driving to my class last night, and mm. there's, there's a sign right on the side of the road, Hillary for prison, 2017. <laughs> and I beeped. I beeped the horn, and I put both arms up. It was like, yeah, you know. Um, yeah. But to finish, uh, I have to do this. To finish... The uh, snapshot today, mm -hmm. uh, I have to bring up one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, uh, Chief Dan George, right? who I love dearly, and uh, he's really been a part of uh, my teachings. He says, uh, and, and this, this is in, um, in Little Big Man in 1970, he says, because the human beings, which he refers to as the Indians, he says... Because the, the human beings, my son, they believe everything is alive, not only man and animals, but also water, earth, stone, and many things that come from them. He says, but the white men, they believe everything is dead, stone, earth, animals, and people, even their own people. If things keep trying to live, the white man will rub them out. And that's the difference between them and us. And that, that comes from Chief Dan George. I, I, I love Dan George. I loved him in that role. I don't know if he's still alive or not. Probably no, not. not. No. No. But, the, but, hey, I just wanted to say again, you know, thank you for 
uh, Dan to Dan Sheehan. All mm -hmm. right, this is on the show. I want everybody know, to know that name. Go look him up. No, Dan Sheehan is not, you know, the tattooed biker, okay? You look him up and you come up with a tattooed biker. No, Dan Sheehan is the guy that is in South Dakota right now defending, defending Chase Iron Eyes, okay? Who actually started the protest, a young attorney who stood up, okay, organized, and, and now the government, yes, the Trump government, okay, you got it right, okay, Mr. Schizophrenic, our president schizophrenic, mm -hmm. has decided that, that the protesters should be punished, punished for trying to protect the water that has now had a 220,000 barrel oil spill on the same water because of those pipelines. Right. That, forget about that. Forget about prosecuting those companies. No, they're going to prosecute, the government wants to prosecute, in the worst way, 850 of the protesters that stood up and did what they were supposed to do, all right? Did what conscious dictates. Yeah, that's Dan Sheehan who's defending them. So I want everybody to realize, I want everybody to support when they can, but just be aware, all right? Don't take my word for it, as I always say on a closing note, don't take my word for it. Yes, uh, I want you to be shake off the, the, the imbecilic, George W. Bush, leave no idiot behind, okay? Shake that off, folks. Start doing your own research. Demand your freedom of information and find out what they're doing to the, the heroes that stood up and did the right thing, all right? Right. Greg has, has a really good way of saying it, and I'm showing it right now. He's got a really good way of saying it, and I'm going to show this every single time Greg says it. Cut it out. <laughs> cut it out right i'm going to show it every single time you say it from now on greg it's an honor to be with you every time as usual thank you so much and i'm glad we made it through without me coughing a, a whole lot like you always do for different reasons though right and you have a good day and we'll talk again on the next show okay thanks so much as always luca and thank you for our listeners you know you know at least listening being conscientious enough to di and disciplined enough to go to our show all right Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have, have a good day, Luca.